Greetings. Thank you for watching my channel. My name is Ryan Hotep, broadcasting on behalf of 13signsastrology.com. Secret societies. Secret societies. Are they useful? Do they serve a purpose? In this video, I'm going to go ahead and talk more about that. I've talked about this topic in other videos. Secret societies, the Illuminati, the New World Order, um, the Skull and Bones, the Freemasons. I've talked about a lot of things in different videos, but I've never really went into the need for secret societies. Are they really needed? Well, to answer that question, um, we are in the era of Pisces. We are in the age of Pisces. Pisces deals with secrets. Pisces is ruled by water. And when you look at the term secret, you see the term secrete, like a female secretes. And usually when you secrete, you secrete moisture or water. Moisture is composed of water. Like sweat, most moisture, bodily moisture is composed of water. So when you secrete, or when a female secretes, because more so secreting is more so a feminine function, is ruled by yin energy. This is dealing with water. Interesting. And I know you might be thinking, why are you pointing this out, Ramhotep? Water, and what does that have to do with secret societies? I'll get to that. I'll get to that. So you secrete. That's water coming out. Then you have a society. A society is essentially a social order. Social order. And the term society and social are very synonymous. So a secret society. What does this mean? What are they for? What purpose do they serve in society? Secret societies have always been important, as I pointed out in my video about Freemasons, have always been important in shaping world thought. When you talk about world thought and higher mind, the higher mind, because you have the lower mind, which is dealing with, you know, your own mind and the things you're going to do in your own life. And then you have the higher mind, which is dealing with the society or higher consciousness. And secret societies are concerned with that. They're concerned with higher consciousness. Secret societies, some of them, basically are like God in this world because they shape higher consciousness. They shape higher consciousness. Now, a lot of people are against secret societies. You go on YouTube, you see a lot of documentaries where people are like, you know, like nothing in this country should be secret. Everything should be done out in the open. That's just integrity. That's just integrity. And some things have to be done in the open. That's just integrity. But every company has company secrets. So even the company that, that you work for, they don't do everything in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in public. Like say, for instance, if you work for a restaurant, you might know some of the stuff about the company, but you don't know what's going on. Like say, for instance, if you work at McDonald's, you don't know what's going on with the CEO of McDonald's. That's you, your CEO. You work for McDonald's, but you don't know exactly what's going on in the corporate hierarchy. You don't know what's going on. So there's secrets on every level. There's secrets on every level. And there's a reason for these secrets. There's a reason for these secrets. Secret societies um, have gotten more corrupt nowadays, I'll admit. They're very corrupt nowadays. Um, they're not what they originally, they're not doing what they originally were started for. Um, Originally, the secret societies were started in the Atlantean days, and they were started to help man ascend back to his vast estate, or woman and man, excuse me, to ascend back to his or her vast estate, to his or her lofty estate. See, the secret society, and one would get initiated into an order or a secret society to gain higher spiritual knowledge, to gain higher spiritual knowledge. It didn't have anything to do with control. You got into a secret society so that you would become a master, not of people, but of yourself. So the master rank in most secret societies dealt with self-mastery. And it still deals with self-mastery. It's just that now in the secret societies they teach, one who is the master of themselves should master and rule over other people. If you can master and rule yourself, then you can master and rule over other people. Um, and that's, what, that's where it's gotten. And I'll explain why. So originally... The original secret societies were here to help man to ascend back. The Order of Melchizedek, which I'll be doing a video on. Uh, 
the, the ancient Egyptian mystery system, the Atlantean mystery system, the law of one, the order of the law of one. Those different orders were all created to help man and woman to ascend back to your vast estate. And the meanings of a lot of these societies got lost over time. See, originally when these secret societies were started, you had to have a connection with an ascended master in order to initiate people on the earthly plane into your order. You had to have a connection with the ascended master. That's right. You had to have a connection with the immortal. See, the immortals were the ones that were responsible for giving the charters, issuing the charters and giving the juice to the different worshipful masters, if you want to call them that, or the different masters over the different secret societies. It was the immortals that were responsible for that. And if you didn't have the juice or the backing of an immortal, you couldn't start a secret society. And not only that, but you had to have packs in the astral plane. You had to have agreements with beings on the astral plane to do what you're doing and to initiate people. This is how the original secret societies operated because the original secret societies were meant to initiate man into his higher self or her higher self, man or woman into his or her higher self to introduce man or woman into his or her light body. This is what secret societies were meant for originally to help man or woman to become more spiritual. Now, you always had one order, which was the Luciferian order, um, which was a secret society at the time, which is different from the immortals. And the Luciferian order was about individualism, about teaching man or woman how to be self-governing, how to govern self. This is what they teach in the Luciferian order. This is what they taught and still teach in the Luciferian order. And these orders exist on higher dimensions, but they also exist here physically. The point I'm making here is that most of your secret societies exist or existed on a higher dimension before they came here. That's the point I'm making here. They started out on the fourth dimension before they got here. And most of the secret societies were here to facilitate uh, matter, to facilitate matter. Basically to, to assure that we didn't get stuck in the material mode or the material state. That was the original reason for secret society was to help man to ascend out of the material state. Even in the Luciferian order, even in the Luciferian secret society, they did teach man and woman to, they tried to teach anyway, man and woman to ascend out of their body. It was never about getting stuck here in the material realm. It was always about being able to leave your body. It's just that the Luciferians taught it from an individual standpoint, meaning that you don't need the ascended masters, you don't need the galactic federation. The Luciferians believe that you can do everything self-autonomously on your own. And that's what they believe. You know what I'm saying? That's what that order is all about. So I'm not going into whether that's right or wrong here. So that's where the original secret societies came from. Now, when you start dealing with a lot of your modern day secret societies, of which, you know, I've already kind of named, they got most of their information from the secret societies, the higher secret societies that were on the higher dimensions. And a lot of this information, they even lost the meanings of. They have symbols, they have handshakes, but they don't know what these signs and symbols mean a lot of times. They lost the meanings of them or they put new meanings on them. So over time, a lot of the same handshakes, signs and symbols have been used in these secret societies over and over again, like the cross. The cross has been being used over and over again, like the Ankh. The Ankh was used before Egypt. The Ankh was used in Atlantis. I'm going to go into Atlantis and uh, do a video on that soon, but the Ankh was used in Atlantis. So, I mean, every secret society has symbols and handshakes, but most of the time they don't really know what the symbols and handshakes originally meant, and therefore they don't know how to use them in their pristine form. So, so you got secret societies. They, they're comprised of handshakes and symbols. Um, another thing about secret societies is that I'm going to go back to the secrete term. When you look at the term secret society, you see the term secrete dealing with water. And the water element is based on intuition. It's based on intuition. And most of the knowledge that was gained from secret societies or in secret societies was uh, from the realm of intuition. Or it was done through a means of using the intuition. A lot of the uh, information that was gotten from secret societies was channeled. It was channeled from higher beings, from ascended masters. This is where a lot of the information came from that the secret societies have to this day. And that's why they're called secret or to secrete because it's dealing with the intuition, which is ruled by the water element.
So originally, a lot of the secret societies, the water element being associated with the woman, because the woman, of course, has a lot of water within her, has actually more water within her than a man, especially during pregnancy. Secret societies were originally, a lot of them were started by women. A lot of them were started by women when women were, were in rulership at the time. And they passed on the knowledge and information to men and men got, and got corrupt with the knowledge and information. And they turned these secret societies from orders that initiated people into the higher dimensions so that they can ascend and get their light body back. But when men got in power after the Atlantean days, when the times of patriarchy came into to, to play, man turned the secret information about secret societies into some type of power thing like we always do. That's what men do. They took the knowledge and information of the secret societies that was supposed to be not higher knowledge to help to ascend. That's what it was all about. And they used it to suppress so that they could rule over. So what happened was eventually is that they like, hey, we could take this knowledge and teach a little bit of it to the masses of the people, keep most of it for ourselves and rule over them. Because whoever knows the most will do the most. Whoever knows more rules. See, that's what it comes down. It's not about who is the strongest. See, people think that. That's not the truth. It's not about who's physically the strongest. It's about who knows the most. Whoever knows the most and is the most intelligent rules. So the males knew this or whatever. So they basically took a, they took as much information as they can from the women through the secret societies. And they set up structures and government and systems. And this is where your modern day secret societies come from. Your modern day secret societies all go back to male patriarchy. See, prior to that, in Atlantis, I'm going to do a video on Atlantis, the secret societies in Atlantis were controlled by a feminine energy. See, before the shift, like the last time, like before this shift that we're going through now, we were in a time where feminine energy ruled. And this shift that we're going into now is going to go back to that. 13 is represented by the, the feminine principle as well because of the fact that when the shift takes place, feminine energy will rule. Women are changing. The women that you see now will not be the same women five or ten years from now because they're shifting. They're shifting inside. The shift takes place internally and then externally. So the women and the men that you see are shifting. The men of the old are not the same as the men of now. Men of now have to become more intelligent, less aggressive, less about brute force. You see, and the women have to become more about being outward, being public. Like you're going to see women running for presidents and stuff like that and being like community leaders again and, and, and leading nations again because the shift puts the feminine principle back on the map. That's what it does. It puts the feminine principle back on the map. So all of this stuff is very important, very important when it comes to understanding the secret societies because the men took the knowledge from these women. They took the knowledge from these women to set up your modern day secret societies. They're all patriarchal. All your modern day secret societies are all patriarchal, every last one of them or whatever. And that's not to knock them. It just is what it is. But they're going to even have to switch the way they're doing things because they know, they, they know that the new paradigm is feminine based and, and they already know that. They already know that, so they're going to have to even switch their MO and their agenda and take it off of the whole male patriarchy thing. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to have to go back to the feminine principle. It's going to have to go back to the feminine principle. So all your secret societies, Illuminati, all the groups that, you know what I'm saying, we, we talk about that are secret societies, all came from the immortal, the original immortals, which initiated different people. Like even your theosophical society, all of this stuff came from the ascended masters. Or whatever. So secret societies are needed. Now let me go into that. Why secret societies are needed? They're needed even in this time. Even though they suppress people from learning the truth and they suppress the knowledge and stuff like that, we are still very much in the age of Pisces. We're still very much in the age of Pisces. But not only that, you keep some things secret because you want to keep them sacred. You want to keep them sacred. And the only way to keep them sacred is to not tell them to a lot of people. You don't want to reveal certain truths to a lot of people because that's how you corrupt it. The reason why the Bible lost its meaning and people are running around here confused now calling every deity in the Bible God is because of this, what I'm talking about here. Information was given out to the masses of the people that shouldn't have been given to the masses of the people because they weren't ready and they corrupted it. The masses of the people corrupted it. And that's why secret societies kept things a secret. It was a reason for it. Even in the Atlantis days, they had secrets. So I'm not against that. I'm not against the secret part. You know what I'm saying? It's just that people have to do better. They have to learn more. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to, like, well, you, well, people shouldn't, like, like the government, stuff like that, shouldn't keep secrets from us. They should tell us everything. They know that if people found out about most things, they would freak out because people aren't self-governing. So they're not going to, like, say, first, the government came out right now and said that they don't have control over the United States of America and that aliens are really controlling it. Most people are going to freak out, get guns, and go crazy because they don't know what to do. 
know what I'm saying? Like most people don't have any knowledge of anything. They don't know what an alien is or they don't even believe in aliens, let alone the government saying that aliens are controlling this thing. Like they don't even believe in this type of stuff. So you got to know better. Got to know better in order for you to do better. And secret societies only exist because you allow them to. You allow them to. There's no nothing that secret societies are learning that that is not knowable. It's just that people don't want to research. They don't want to go out on their own to research. They want to sit back and wait for people to bring things to them. And that's the secret societies love that. That's what keeps them in power. As long as people depend on exterior factors, they will always stay in power. So government, I always say this, secret societies and things like that exist because of the people. Collective consciousness brought that into existence. And the secret societies play off of, like I pointed out earlier in this video, they play off of your collective consciousness. So secret societies are very much needed. I, I'm not against secret societies. Um, I'm not against it because I know that we're not, we're all on different levels right now. Um, the whole point of secret societies is, is one of the things about it is most of them have degrees. Most of them have degrees and the deg degrees denote rank. So that means we're all ranging in ranks. We all have different ranks in life. We all have different stations in life. And this is why secret societies are necessary. When man ascends, we will become equal. Like once we all make the ascension, we will become equal. So then there should be a need for a secret society. There will be councils still. But there will be no need for secret societies. Secret societies only exist in ignorance. So if you don't want them to exist, become enlightened. Stop being ignorant. I thank you for watching this video. Uh, for more enlightening information, I ask that you visit my website. And until we meet again, I'll leave you all in peace and love.